What is up guys, we back with another video and today we're looking at the Tobinon 100 watt USB-C charger. Now they were kind enough to send this out man, so shouts out to them. Now this is gonna be a 100 watt USB-C charger that can charge your MacBook, it can charge your iPads, any USB-C device, even a new iPhone 15 man. So again, shouts out to them. Now real quick, I'm gonna show you guys where you can pick this up from. Uh, then we'll go around the box, take a look at the charger and then we'll charge a handful of devices man and then we will get out of here for today, all right? Let's get to it. All right, guys, so if you're looking for it, you can find it right here on Tobinon.com. I'll make sure I throw a link in the description, but the price is going to be $35.99. Now, if I find this on Amazon as well, I'll make sure I throw that link in the description too, uh, just so you guys can go there and pick it up, uh, just in case you don't want to go to you know their website in general. But right here, this is a 100-watt USB-C laptop charger, universal JN3 power supply. You see what I'm saying? So uh, right here, it just shows you a few things that you know you can charge with it. Um, on top of any additional USB-C devices that you might have laying around the house. It has a foldable design, uh, specific or specially reinforced. So, you know, that's good there. You can charge at home, office, study, travel is good for all of that stuff, man. It's pushing out about 100 watts. Again, five-foot cable. Uh, right here it says overcharge protection, over voltage protection. You got short circuit protection. So all of that stuff there is going to be good to go. We're going to need all of that. Uh, right here, this is just a lot of little information just in case you kind of want to read uh, through this right here, I'll pause the screen uh, and take a little, you know, read over it. Um, but I just wanted to make sure you guys got that information right there. All right. So let's go ahead and jump into the box. Now, as far as the box, man, it just says Tobinon on it. Nice little picture. And on the back, it has a QR code in case you want to scan that. Once you open it, you're going to have the charger in a little protective sleeve. Uh, it says 100 watt GAN plus on it. It's a nice matte black finish, and it is a hefty uh, little charger, man. It's a hefty charger. Got some Tobinon branding and some information right here on the bottom if you want to pause the screen right there as well. Uh, it does have a little uh, indicator light uh, letting you know that the charger is on, and it is USB-C, and it does have a five-foot cable, so I think that's good to go. And the fact that you can collapse it uh, just makes it that much more portable. You know what I'm saying? So let's go ahead and grab a handful of devices and get to charging. So real quick, I got my iPad and my iPhone 15 right here. I just wanted to pull out the standard USB-C charger and plug it into the uh, Echo Flow so you guys can take a look at the wattages. Because again, this is a 100 watt charger. So that means it can support anything up to 100 watts, but that doesn't mean that it's going to push out 100 watts all, right? all the time. I just want you guys to see that. And I know a lot of you guys know that already, but you know, for those that don't understand how these chargers work, it says 100 watts, but it can support up to 100 watts. But that doesn't mean that your device... Uh, is going to be able to receive 100 watts. You get what I'm saying? So the iPhone typically stays at about 20, sometime maybe, what, 25, I guess. On a good day, I'm not sure. Uh, but then the iPad is at about 19 to 20, 21 or something like that as far as wattages. And I wanted to use the Echo Flow so we can see the numbers on the screen. All right. Um, and then using the uh, Tobinon uh, with the iPhone, you'll still see the same wattages because, again, that's what the iPhone is going to allow. And I don't have any other device uh, that is going to be able to pull those higher wattages from, you know, this power adapter anyway. Um, but I just wanted to show you guys that. So, you know, for those that might be confused, you know, when you see a 50 watt charger or a hundred watt charger or whatever the case, your device has to be able to pull in that power. You see what I'm saying? So right here, even with it plugged in, iPhone is still pulling about the same, uh, watts. So it's no difference there. Uh, and even using the iPad Air 4 with this uh, Tobinon charger, the, uh, the iPad is still going to pull in about the same uh, wattages too. So I just wanted to show you guys that so it can be kind of across the board. So that's basically showing you that the overcharge protection works. You know what I'm saying? Because the iPhone and the iPad is only basically saying, hey, I can only take 20 watts. And the charger, even though it can push out 100 watts, is basically dialing itself down and only pushing out what the iPhone and the iPad can actually handle. So I thought that uh, was really good uh, as far as kind of just showing also how that overcharge and over voltage protection really works. All right, guys, so there you have it, man, the Tobinon 100 watt charger. I think this charger is going to be good to go. I didn't have any devices that can charge, you know, uh, or pull in a lot of power uh, to show off that 100 watt. But if I do come across anything in the future, I will come back, plug those things in so you guys can see it pull even more power. But anyway, shots out to Tobinon for sending this out, man. I really Really do appreciate it, man. And if you found this video to be helpful, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It's been your man, Jay, and I will catch you guys in the next video. All right? Peace.